This is my 1977 R100 RS. I originally ended up with a gloss clear coat, which is incorrect. It actually was painted in a matte clear coat. So I've had it re-cleared in matte, which means I need to get all the pinstripes repainted. Uh, the pinstriper is going to come over today to do the work, but to help him out, I used some fine line tape and laid out where I want the stripes to go. So that'll give him a good idea of where things are going on the fairing. And I did the same thing on the gas tank. Um, there's a thick and thin line, so I laid those out so he'll know where they go. When I did the tank line, I had the tank and the seat cowl mounted on the bike because the uh, line here has to line up with the line on the tank. So these were laid out with the two parts on the bike so they should line up when he gets done. Also there's on this front fairing panel a small amount of stripe that goes right along the bottom and then of course the front fender will get striped. So hopefully by the end of the day uh, everything will have brand new pinstripes. Oh, buddy.
ね。So this is the 1977 R100 RS after I had the clear coat changed to a matte clear coat which was what was done originally in 77. I've had the pinstripes reapplied and I really like the effect of the matte clear coat. It seems to cause the metal flake in the paint to pop out in a very different way and it behaves differently in the sun. Uh, it gives it more depth I think. One of the other things I added was this medallion from the 40th R100 RS Rally out in Harleysville, Pennsylvania, hosted by Todd Trumbor in 2017. I think that's a really neat addition to the bike. I'm going to be out to the upcoming rally in two weeks that Todd is hosting, and this will be the 40th anniversary for the R80G slash S and the R65 LS, both Han Smooth designs. Those are the last two he did for BMW. So I'll be riding Gonzo and we'll be headed out again to Pennsylvania together. And as you can see, I think he's pretty psyched about the trip. <laughs>